Well, a controversial few days regarding Alina Rabakina and the WTA's decision to give performance buys to some players this week and taking normal buys away from others. The two players that actually got the performance buys this week, Zachary and Garcia, have both spoken out about the rule and given their opinions. So this is what Maria Sakri had to say in her pre-tournament press conference at the Tokyo Open. This is not a new rule. I think it has been in place for about 14 years now, and that's actually the case. However, due to the coronavirus pandemic, this rule was temporarily removed. However, in the past, this performance buy was also used in Beijing. We've already been aware of the fact that there will be a performance buy since the tournament will be held from Mexico to Tokyo for about five months. I was informed the performance buys are also applied when traveling from Tokyo to Beijing. But Caroline Garcia, who was kind of the main reason why Rabakina lost her buy, also spoke out about the performance buys, saying it's a really long journey from Mexico to Japan. And considering the time difference, you'll lose two days. I think this rule is necessary because we have to continue playing under such circumstances. In the past, it was also adopted in Beijing and Wuhan. We knew in advance that there would be a performance buy at this tournament. We were informed of this, and I think that is important in order to maintain our rhythm. Them. So there you have it, the two players that got the performance buys, of course Garcia being the most, I guess, controversial, if you want to call it that, because Rebecca lost her buy to Garcia. Now doing a little bit more research, this has been around since 2009, and it isn't the first time they've used this. In fact, before the pandemic, Sakura is right, it had been used multiple times, and very interestingly enough, both these ladies had been given performance buys in previous tournaments. Now, the big difference is that Wuhan has now been replaced by Guadalajara, which means Guadalajara to Tokyo was considered a performance buy tournament, but it isn't the first time, and it's just been four years since we've had this happen. And also, like what Zachary said as well, between Tokyo and Beijing, performance buys are going to be a thing as well. So that means the players that make the semifinals this week, they qualify for next week's Beijing, they will also get a buy in the first round. And that's just because of the scheduling. But let me know down in the comments below. Do you like the rule? I mean, I knew a lot less about performance buys before the start of the week. Now I feel like I know a lot more about it. But don't be surprised next week if players like Sabalenka, Goff, lose a buy in the first round because of the performance buy given to the players that do well this week. So it's crucial that you make the semifinals at this tournament this week so you can get a buy next week. But it's been a weird topic. It's been a bit of a controversial topic. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are about it.